All right, so here we go. Stonehill in the home white. Purple letters and numbers. And say Mike. And his pass deflected off the leg of Logan out of bounds. Will be St. Michael's ball. Board of the officials. Joe Smoot used to go do game. So at Merrimack. Team and the easy lay in. Logan. Ball out of bounds to St. Michael. West Roxbury he's had a good freshman year as you said Buck the game is just a game for them no bearing on their postseason they won't have one but that ride back north would be a whole lot of glass just a second field goal for Lee KJ averaging 12 points a game Largi Logan to the baseline. Oh, and yeah, that was a great drive by Michael Bowling. Third foul on Bess. <laughs> Deflated ball. You seen that happen twice in the last two games? Yeah, it happened. Yeah, the it happened last down game the game. other end. Yeah. Happened. Back down inside for Baroa for two. Nice job by pa uh, Baroa inside. Ball on Largi, his second. David Sussex, two free throws. If anybody would be chirping in his ear about the score of that game, and I have to go back and look at my numbers, but this is the 35th year in a row that Stonehill is qualified for the postseason. Stonehill is the only program to have appeared. Up the floor, Zaire Williams. Wide open, Thomas Jackson, the third for a three ball. Nine points for Jack. 75-72. Holmes launches. Won't get it. Bonds. Throw right into the middle of three white shirts. Well, back out. Didn't have the numbers. Good play by Bess. Down to 140 to go. Now Baroa. Josh Meyer wanted a timeout. Didn't call it soon enough. Stepping through and missing is Lee. What a job to get his own rebound, and he hands it off. Barrow has got two. Yeah. Bittersweetness, obviously, because you win, but then the overall situation with uh, with the playoff seating. Um, you got to give credit to to Bentley for for doing what they did. You know, they won three three straight to put themselves in position um, where we. A week ago, we controlled our own destiny, and then today was uh, we had to win and had to get some help, you know. And it unfortunately uh, didn't happen. I know they <laughs> they won um, basically a buzzer beater, um, uh, three uh, from what we we did happen to see it um, after afterwards with a one one point four left on the clock or one point two um, a three to put them in front to win it. But um, not a lot of teams, I guess, get to end their seasons in any sport with a win, you know, and and to, to end this way, um, I it would have been a lot tougher, I thought, uh, obviously, if we had lost today and then, you know, you, you end up losing your season that way. It would have yeah. been more frustrating, but at least, you know, we, we did what we needed to do um, in terms of taking care of the game today and winning today. So I'm um, very, very proud of our efforts uh, to, to come out with a win in a tough situation yeah. where you're you're playing but you know in the back of your mind you're hoping and thinking about the yeah. other game too so um that's tough uh, it's not easy to to handle and deal with but just uh really glad that that our guys played uh, played hard and competed for 40 minutes and we were able to to take care of the win today for me that's that's the toughest part of, of today um in this situation um where the year comes to an end right now and you see Obviously, to, to have it end for Jimmy and uh, Jimmy and Ryan for both of those guys. Um, they're such they're, they're such great kids, um, and we, we've been through 
we've been through a lot together, um, the three of us, uh, from from the get-go with me, uh, with them, and bringing those guys in here, and just to have it come to an end is really, really hard um, to swallow, I guess, uh, to because those guys mean so much to me, um, to our program, to to the school, um, but. We say we say family in every single huddle, um, in everything that we do with our with our team and with our program, and and those two just epitomize that for me. Um, they're not just players for me; those they're family. Um, and I, I just I told them I I apologize. I couldn't have got them to the next step um, to keep things going. Um, I love those guys, and uh, to just not uh, be able to. To be on the floor with them um, anymore is just, it's really, it's tough. Um, just with how, how great of kids they are and how great a, of men that they are and that they've become. So um, that's, I, I think that's the biggest, the most difficult thing today is just having, having a comfort in for, for those two.